Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we've got an area in here where we need to duck the audio out. Um, there's a couple of ways that we can do this. We've got some audio happening here in our, in our file. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to reduce the level of the background music uh, starting about right here and taking it all the way out just about to the end here. So there's two ways that we can do it. One is we can perform a simple duck or we can perform an advanced duck. So let's start with a simple duck and we'll just use the tool that's up here on the toolbar. Click simple duck and it comes up and asks us how far do we want to duck the audio and typically I like going a little bit farther uh, somewhere down to the 18 dB level uh, and so we're going to take that down by minus 18 dB. We're going to take it as a fast curve in and we're going to take it as a slow curve out. Click OK. You'll notice that I didn't select an audio track. It didn't know whether I wanted to uh, duck the channel 1 dialog, the channel 2 dialog, or the bed music. So I need to select my bed music. Let's do this one more time. Fast in, slow out, and I'm gonna hold down the control key and just take that down to right there about minus 18 dB. Choose OK. And there's our duck. Um, All night. I didn't get home till a little after midnight. Uh, Jim told me it was around 1300 a day. Did you always know you wanted to, to be a soldier? That you wanted so that's one kind of duck that we can do. And let's undo that duck that we had right there. And let's look at a different type of a duck. This is called an advanced duck. And it's going to work off of the different media files that are on the timeline here. Let's open up our advanced duck tool and we need to choose the voice track that we want to use as our main dialogue track. So we're going to choose channel one for dialogue and our bed music track for our second dialogue. There we go. And we've got fast and slow already chosen there. Choose OK. You notice what's happening here is it's gone through and it's looked at all the different breakpoints where the media is not in place and it's raised the volume of the music in each of those places. And I wanted to be a Marine like my dad. So what it's doing is it's centering in on the cut points or where there may be audio or no audio. So right now it's only centering in on those cut points and, and there's no place where it's really appropriate for that advanced duck to take place because otherwise we've got music rising up and down and that's just not going to work the way that we want it to. So let's look at another way we can use the advanced duck feature. Let's undo that. Great. Now we've got this audio here, for instance, it's just wind noise. It's not really anything we care about. And same thing here. There's really nothing there. So let's make sure our ripple is off and we're going to take these pieces of audio. We're going to delete them. All night. I didn't get home till a little after midnight. Great. So now we've got this empty area that's right here that we're going to work within. So let's just again draw our, our duck area, the area that we want to control the duck in, and choose our advanced duck option. And again, we're going to use channel one dialog as our, our voice track, and the music track is going to be the bed music, just like we used it before. And we can uh, set this up so that it ducks before or after the cut points, set it on the cut points, or after the cut points. So let's just go ahead and choose after and choose OK. Notice what it's happened now is it's raising and lowering the volume anywhere there's a hole in the timeline. All night. I didn't get home till a little after midnight. Uh, Jim told me it was around 1300 a day. Did you always know you wanted to... So you can get an idea of how the advanced duck tool can really save you a lot of time. Anywhere you've got a blank area or an empty area in your dialogue track, it will automatically raise the music up. And anywhere you've got a, a dialogue in the, the timeline, it'll take the volume down. And you can use this very creatively if you want to. You might even use it against two different music beds or having a couple of, of sound effects on the timeline. You can use anything as a master track and anything as a bed music track. So it doesn't have to be controlled by the dialogue track. Let's look at some other tools that are in the Production Assistant Toolbar.